The mind is always trying to understand and explain the elements of life. This way there is no uncertainty, no possibility for change. That kind of safety is good for the mind. But music is one thing that the mind cannot explain. It's beyond understanding, beyond the mind. It is intangible and comes from a place unknown that cannot be fully defined. Our minds are so compelled by this phenomenon that they will try to explore it by connecting to the sound vibrations and thus letting go. The listening experience then becomes a form of no mind. Music cannot be felt or perceived by the mind. It is a direct connection to the heart, and since it is only manifested in the now, a direct connection to the present as well. That is why creating music from the mind will never work well. The result will be a combination of sounds with no depth or musicality. So eventually, we come to the understanding that the more ego we put in, or in other words, the more we cling to the outcome of creation, the less space for artistic expression to actually come through. It is truly a channeling experience, both creating and listening. So music is a form of relief from the ego. When we write music, we are connecting to a deeper place. If we let go of the mind, magic can truly happen. The whole process of music making is a mystery to me still. We are channelers in this sense, and we distort and color the channel with our own self. But we should not confuse this coloring as an indication that music is to be possessed. Ultimately, music is no one's, and cannot be either fully comprehended nor owned.